What is the mechanism that allows breathing, and is it an active or passive process? First, we have to understand pressure. Outside the body, the air is 760 millimeters of mercury. At rest, the intrapulmonary pressure is also 760 millimeters of mercury. An important concept to remember when we talk about breathing is how gases always want to take the path of least resistance, moving from areas of high pressure into areas of low pressure. Breathing consists of two distinct phases, inspiration, inhalation, and expiration, exhalation. During inspiration, the intercostal muscles will contract and move outward. The diaphragm will contract and move downward. Notice how this increases the volume in the thoracic cavity and subsequently lowers the pressure inside. As a result of the larger volume, the intrapulmonary pressure has dropped within the lungs to 759 millimeters of mercury, causing air to be drawn in from the outside. Due to the contraction of the muscles, we call inspiration an active process. During expiration, the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm relax, causing a decrease in intrapulmonary volume. As the volume decreases, there's an increase in intrapulmonary pressure to 761 millimeters of mercury. We understand that air moves from a higher pressure to a lower pressure, and as a result, air is moved from the lungs out to the atmosphere. Due to the elastic recoil of the muscles relaxing, expiration is considered a passive process.